Okay, good. Sick. Awesome. We done. We, we did it. We kicked his ass. Your little sister's operation's never gonna happen. Well, Yug. We knew one of us had to lose. But the good news is one of us got the win, too. Congratulations, man. Here, take my glory of the king's hand card. Show it to Pegasus' flunky croquet. And it'll give you three million bucks in prize money. No, Joey. You keep it. Your sister needs that money. Yoke. I didn't enter this tournament to get rich, Joey. I'm just here to save my grandpa and the Kaiba brothers. Please use this money for Serenity's operation. When I lost the duel, I lost all hope of saving my sister. But now, Yogi, thank you. Now go and take down Pegasus. Oh, what a, what a bromance. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh my. Well, so I can't help but notice, um, we're, uh, we're going up against fucking Pegasus. Oh boy. The time has finally come. As champion of the Duelist Kingdom Tournament, Yugi won the right to duel Maximilian Pegasus. Promise me that you will free the souls of my grandfather and all the others. Yes, but if I am the one who defeats you instead... You have to fulfill your end of the bargain as well. Take a close look at the card you hold in your hand, Yugi boy. There's a reason why it's blank. For if I win, I will claim your soul. Forever. You have much to gain, but much to risk as well. It's a risk I'm willing to take to free the souls of my grandpa and the others. And I don't plan to lose. I hate to disappoint you, Pegasus, but I have no intention of ever becoming a part of your soul card collection. Oh my god, let's go. Fucking Toon Worlds, Toon Bitches, let's fucking do this shit. Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm sorry, Yami Yugi. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Uh. Wah. Shit. It's okay. Aw, oh, man, I got first to go anyway. He's so generous. God, he's so cool. Alright. Toon World. I totally forget how it even works. Oh my. Okay, I got two black magic rituals in here. Okay. And multiply. Tribute one face up Karibo. Special summon as many Karibo tokens. That. In defense position. Wait, what? Tribute one face up Karibo. Special summon as many Karibo tokens. As possible. Okay, so it just literally fills the field with Karibos. Okay. Well, get out of there, wolf. Be my bait. You can do it, pal. Good luck. Why do I even have this card? What the fuck? What? 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 I remember this card being bullshit as fuck. Oh god, what did it do? I don't remember. Oh god. I remember people like complaining so much about this card. What did you do? What is this card about? What is this existence? You can ritual some of this card with black illusion ritual. Once per turn you can target one monster in your opponent controls. Equip this tar that target to this card. You can only equip one monster at a time to this card with this effect. This card's attack and defense become equal to the equipped monsters. If this card would be destroyed by battle, destroy that equipped monster instead. While, e the equ while equipped with that monster, any battle damage you take from battle involving this card inflicts equal effect damage to your opponent. That's why. Oh yeah, that's why. Um, when this is normal or flip summon, you can add one ritual monster or ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. Oh. Okay. Looks like this is already game over. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have anything to play. <laughs> I'm literally out of cards right now. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Yeah, I remember this card being ridiculous back in the day. It's another dream? Alright, this is another dream sequence. Give me your Raigeki. Brain control? That only lasts until the next turn, though. However, I think I need to. Alright. So. Take control of this. Okay. I should have actually done this one, so then I'll, he would take the damage too. And then... Alright, so now that card's gonna be down to zero. When he gets it back. Okay. So I have one more turn to do something. I couldn't have tributed it. Guy takes two tributes. Hey, Toon Summon Skull, what's up, man? Guys, y'all are yelling at me to tribute. I can't tribute it. Guy takes two tributes. You guys are fucking stupid. Good lord. Alright, yeah, that's, that's gonna be game. You can take the face down cards as well? Holy shit. That's crazy. Oh, this is gonna be a rough fucking fight. God damn. Good lord. Alright, try that again. Chat is worse than Hearthstone chat. I don't know if it's worse than Hearthstone chat. Hearthstone chat, it can get pretty bad. Everything's lethal for them. Um, go with the rock. There we go. Alrighty. Well, try this again. Ooh, the catapult turtle. I remember you. You can inflict, you can tribute one monster and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the tribute monster's attack on the field. I remember that guy. All right, I'll set this up. Uh oh. Okay, so he's got... Alright, he just got Toon Summon Skull. Another Toon? Good god, dude. Oh, fuck me. Oh god, dude, stop it! Stop! Stop it! We just started! No! 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 Alright. Swords of Revealing Light. Throw that out there. We are going to fuck him up. Somehow. I don't know how yet. But we'll do it. Alright. Mammoth Graveyard, get out there. We have time to work with here. Got one attack for us. I forget what the tune cards actually do. Let me look here. So, this card cannot attack the turn it's summoned. If tune world is on the field, or if tune world on the field is destroyed, destroy this card. While you control tune world and your opponent controls no tune monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase. Okay. Gotcha. So. Here's the deal. He's got 1500 defense right now. I really, really hope this works out. Oh wait, he's just gonna take it back anyway. He's just gonna absorb it, isn't he? Yep. Okay, well, I'm dumb. However, he's in- okay, he's not in defense anymore. Alright, well, that- there goes that plan. 
There's not really much I can do in this situation with these cards right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Alright. Okay, hold on. We're, st we're still in the clear here. What I really need is brain control and then use catapult turtle to tribute him away. Or distribute him with catapult turtle. So, if I could get something like that, that would really work out here. Uh, let's see here. So, I could sack one of these in the Monster Reborn it. I wish I could see what I have in my fusion deck, but I can't. Ah, fuck it. Okay. Now I'll summon this out. Okay, we still have, what, one or- I think we have one more turn with, uh, swords keeping him from doing anything. Yeah, alright. Next turn he can do stuff. What? No. No. What is this? Show as many face-up spell cards your opponent controls as possible. I'll go to defense one anyway, so it's fine. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, alright. Good. Good. Whew. Okay. We're in the clear right now. He'll attack there, but he'll go in defense mode right now, so he'll die next turn. Alright. Mirror Force! You're beautiful, man. Um... Nah, I'd rather have this card out in the field right now. 1400 plus 1000. More manageable. Alright, take him out. Alright, what do you got now? Nothing? Alright. Horn Imp. There we go. Alright. Things are looking up. Things are looking really up right now. Things are looking up like Pixar. Toon Gemini Alpha. Okay, it's gonna be a problem. Oh yeah, they can't attack the turn they're summoned. That's right. Ooh. Target one monster your opponent controls and one monster you control. Destroy the first target. And then give control of the second target to your opponent. Oh. Target one monster your opponent controls. The one monster you control. Destroy the first target. So then you would destroy his target and give control to one of my guys. Okay. So I could give him Horn Imp. And then kill Horn Imp. 
Yeah. There we go. Okay. No. What? Yeah, you fight him. Okay. All right. We're doing good so far. Beaver Warrior. Chat is flipping shit right now. I love it. Mystic Box actually would be really good on Relinquish too, I just realized. Tune World. Oh. Alright. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that works. Did I just, no, I didn't win yet. No, I did. Oh, okay, good fight, whatever, that works. Cool. Fuck your shit, man. That works, that works for me, I'm glad. Well, well done, you son of a shit. Pegasus, you're finished, we've won. It... it's impossible, my... my eye, my magic, it's all failed me, I've lost! The duel showed Yugi that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was his friend. Yugi learned that if they worked together, they could accomplish anything. Spirit of the Puzzle, I don't know how to thank you. It was your courage and the love of your friends had for you that prevailed this day. And your determination, we all did it, together. That's right, as friends. And in the end, that's what it came down to. Friends being there for one another. He won! Way to go! Yeah, we all won. Thanks, guys. Yugi saved the souls of his grandpa, Seto and Mokuba. However, there lurked another danger from the shadows. His friend, Bakuro, still possessed by the evil spirit in the Millennium Ring, had an agenda of his own. So although Yugi had thought his problems were over, things were about to get much worse. Now that Pegasus is weakened by his duel with Yugi, he's given me the opportunity I've been waiting for. The time has finally come for me to add Pegasus's Millennium item to my collection. <laughs> Sick. Decks and challenge decks and tunes. The fuck is a dark bribe? Oh, it's cannon soldier. It's adorable. Fuck. Dude. Dude. We got fucking points to spend. 6,420 points. Dude, that is so many points that I honestly don't know what to do with them. And I'm kind of contemplating doing things with them. What is- Alright, I gotta look up Dark Bribe, because people are talking about Dark Bribe right now. Hold up, Dark Bribe. Going down to Dark Bribe. When an opponent's spell or trap card is activated, your opponent draws one card. Also, negate the spell or activation. If you do, destroy it. Oh. So it just stops a spell or trap card, but gives them a draw. That's not bad. So, all right. Here's the thing. I either want to buy some cards at the card pack thing, or do this thing, which takes 2,000 points to do. So, I'm gonna make a straw poll, because both sound fun. So give me a second really quick here. Alright, what are we doing, people? What are we doing? What's in the agenda? Oh, it looks like it's gonna be draft. That solid 60% plus lead. Sick.
Why not both? That's true, we could do both. But it does look like we're doing draft, though. That's cool. Alright, let's do some draft. I've been wanting to do some draft. It looks like it'll be fun. I'm gonna be terrible at it, though. Alright, so... Are we doing draft or sealed, though? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves. So we'll ask ourselves with another straw poll. There we go. Next straw poll. This one I don't really care about. I'll do whichever. This is beautiful music. I'm gonna have to change the OC though, it's only got 10 minutes left. Alright, looks like it's gonna be drafted as 58 to 60 percent lead. Okay. Alright, as much as I like this music, it's about to end soon, so I might as well just do it while I'm not in the middle of something. And this one right here, and boop. There we go. Alright, we're doing draft. Cool. Uh, draft is draft 45 cards in three rounds of pack opening. So it's pretty much like we're opening packs. Okay. Oh god, I don't know what the fuck. Now we gotta know which one to do here. Um. Fuck. <laughs> well, time to do another one. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Epic Dawn or War of the Giants. Alright, there you go. The third straw pull. So many straw pulls. I don't know which one's what, but War of the Giants has a fucking slifer on it, so that's relevant. Oh, that's a lot of for War of the Giants. All right, cool. All right, I think we're gonna go because that's 70-30 split for War of the Giants. So, War of the Giants, it is. Let's do it. Purchase. All right. So these are our first cards we got here. Oh, Slate Warrior, fuck yeah! All right, we we pretty much. We want... Do we get all these cards, or do we just pick what we want? I don't remember how this works. Or do we just, like, pick one and then another person gets to pick or something like that? If your opponent controls a monster you, and you control no monsters, you can summon this card from your hand. Oh! Shit, that's great. And, like, if you go second, that's, like, stupid good. You pick one? Okay. Mirage Dragon. Your opponent can activate trap cards during the battle phase. Oh, soldier. I think I might go for Cyber Dragon, though, from what it looks like. Saying dank is dank. Absolutely. I love saying dank. Your opponent declares a monster level. Excavate cards from the top of your deck until you excavate a monster that can be normal summon set. If that monster is the same level as the one declared by your opponent, send all excavated monsters to the graveyard. If not, special summon the excavated monster. Also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Weird. Pay 1500 life points and target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon that target to the side of the field. Okay. I think we're all forgetting that mirror walls here, and that's amazing. I I do think I will be going with Cyber Dragon though. Yeah. Cyber Dragon just seems like such a decent card to come back with. So, yeah. 
Oh, now it's giving me different cards. Okay, it's from a different pack. All right. Your opponent cannot target any face-up monster you control except Belial for an attack or with spell or trap effects. So he pretty much is just like the target for everything. Oh, I remember seeing you before! Once pretending you can manage up to three monsters from your graveyard, this card gains 300 attack for each until the end of your opponent's turn. I remember this card being a fucking dick sometimes. Christ, a tuner monster... stop? I don't even know what a tuner monster is. Is that what Cyber Dragon was? No? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Um, let's see here. Remember... I don't know what, like, any of these cards are. I, like, all I knew about was Bazoo. All these other cards are new to me. Chalice? Everyone's yelling about Chalice. This thing? Target one face-up monster in the field until the end of the turn. That target gains 400 attack, but its effects are negated. Huh. That seems okay. Plague zombie? You can place one card from your hand on top of the deck. Special summon this card from your graveyard. If summoned this way, banish this card when it leaves. Wait, what? You can place one card from your hand to the top of your deck. Special summon this card from your graveyard. If summoned this way, banish this card when it leaves. Oh, that doesn't seem that good. Why would this be good? I don't know. I don't know about that one. What's the tour guide? Wait, this thing? This thing has an anime lady on it, so... I, I'm i an old school Yu-Gi-Oh guy. I, I don't know the new cards. When this card is sent to the graveyard, target one monster in either player's graveyard. Except this. Shovel that into your deck. Hmm. What are people saying tuner for? Synchro summoning, tuner. I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't have fucking any clue. Oh, this thing's a tuner. All right, what's a tuner? Can someone explain to me what a tuner is? Because I am an old school Yu-Gi-Oh player. I played Yu-Gi-Oh over ten years ago. I don't know what the fuck a tuner is. What is a tuner? What's a synchro summon? What's a tuner and a synchro summon? I am from back in the day when none of this shit existed. Tuner summons are white cards. Okay. I don't know what that still means. Do you need a, them? Check your Twitch messages. Tuner lets you summon white cards. I'm guessing the white cards are really good cards. Because apparently they're like super hardcore or something. Tuner is the new Yu-Gi-Oh faction. F fucking Tuna is a fish color. It's it's that's true. Alright, hold on, hold on. So I think someone explained it pretty decently there. Once per turn, you can discard one card from your hand to return Spell or Trap card from the field to the... What? Once per turn, you can discard one card from your hand to return Spell or Trap cards from the field to your hands equal to the number of face-up tuner monsters on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard for a Synchro Summon, you can add one... What? What? Tuner is for Synchro Summoning. If you tribute it and other non-tuner monsters with a total number of stars equal to those... Of the synchro summon you want, you can summon it. A synchro fusion, you need a tuner to do the diffusion. What the fuck? Alright, so tuners are a different type of fusion then. Alright. Okay. I think I get the concept. Tuners are used to add level, add their levels to another monster that'll give you a white card with the same level as the total. Okay. I get the concept.